Hello and welcome to the tutorial for our Alpine mini album. I'm really excited. I always am. I know. I love this paper collection by Authentic. This is the Alpine collection, our winter, their winter uh, collection. So let me get started just real quick to show you what we're working with. So we're going to be working, of course, with the whole collection, the 12 by 12 paper, but the cut aparts are just adorable. And we will be doing a lot of things to showcase these adorable cut aparts. Sticker sheet. I always recommend that you get two. They're fabulous. You're going to want to use them for a lot of different things. Then I'm going to be using for matting the Crocodile Smile 1 by Authentic, the double-sided cardstock that is great. Robin's Egg Blue. I have three sheets of Robin Eggs Blue, two sheets of Crocodile Smile 1, and I have one sheet of the Hot Cocoa, and two sheets of our Antique Lace. And then we are going to be using the Blue Linen cardstock that we sell at Country Craft Creations. Another color that looks really great is the uh, Light Blue will work with this, your Craft, or Brown. And to get started, we are going to be making six pages that are eight and a half by six. And my fourth one, oh, there are, there's six. So each side will have three and then three. I have already made the first five, but I'm going to make the six with you because <coughs> these are very simple. So with three pieces of cardstock, that's all you're going to need is three 12 by 12 to get your six pieces. No, you need, sorry. No, that's right. So you're going to cut them in half at six. And then you'll cut six by eight and a half, six by nine and a half. And you'll want to cut six of those for this album. So each, so each page takes one. So you do need six pieces of cardstock, sorry. So you need six pieces of 12 by 12. One, half of it will do the cover, half will do your page, pocket page. So, first of all, you're going to take your nine and a half inch piece into your scoreboard. You will score it half of an inch, turn it so that you know it's exactly half of an inch, and score again. Then we're going to burnish these up. Like I said, you need to do six pages. Well, my magnets. Oh, I will also be using the basic gray large and some small magnets. art glitter glue, and then we'll be mostly using our sticker sheets on this one for embellishments. I just love this collection. It's going to be a lot of fun, not only for, you know, some of those Christmas pictures you're going to be taking outside before Christmas, and um, great for winter. Add your score tape or your wet adhesive. I use art glitter glue when constructing all my projects now except for we will be using some score tape sheets on the cover because it makes things just go by so much faster. So also, before you put your cover on, double check. Make sure it's not hanging over the edges. If it is, go ahead and trim it before you attach this or now open it and I would trim it if it was too long. It is much easier and quicker if you trim it before you put it on, then try to trim it with your straight edge along your folded pieces because chances are you're going to cut into it. Even when you don't think you do, I've done it and then I go to finish my album and I notice I cut my hinge or, or mean that folded area. So let's go ahead and put that together. And like I mentioned, each page, is I wanted it to showcase the adorable graphics. Now I want to show you what I've done. This is another question I get. How do you know which pages to map? So I'm going to take my Alpine. You have eight sheets of each design, three sheets of each. One thing I do is I leave it perfectly in the stack. So I just am going to start at the top. This is what I'll first map my page with. Turn it over. I will fill in with this and then we will turn the page and we'll go to the second one and we'll just move down 
our collection that way. I have found that that is the easiest way when you like all the papers and you don't know what to choose from, just do it that way. We're going to get started with our first <coughs> page. And like I mentioned, we want to showcase these three cut aparts. I want to have this be the opening on my book because it's just adorable. And then I have chosen, um, everybody is good. It's a good day for hot chocolate and winter vogue. And I will get those cut out in just a moment. First, let's go ahead and cut. Well, let's go ahead and cut our cut aparts. If that, choose the ones that you're going to use. And it is preferable you have one that's going um, this direction. So let me go ahead and get these cut apart. We want to make sure we make our flaps the correct size. Okay. And actually, sometimes I will cut these all apart before I start. I just didn't this time. So I'm going to cut Winter Vogue and the Dad. Okay, then I'll keep those close at hand so I can cut them next time with my smaller cutter. There's that. And then my winter. Oh, wait, I wasn't going to do the winter reading. It's winter Vogue for my third one. After the last tutorial I did, I actually went ahead and waited. I wanted to map the pages, and then I went back and I'm like, never again. We will be doing that as we're going. Okay, now I need to cut my little llama off. That says, I know my house, happy winter. Okay. You keep grabbing the wrong one. There we go. Okay, this is bigger than a four by six. That's why I chose it. I love it. It's almost four and three quarters by six and a quarter. And these are three by fours. So let me set page number one aside. And I may have to recut some matting here. I wasn't, no, actually we're perfect. Okay, so I, this one's going to go down for this little cut apart, which is just adorable. And it is five and a quarter by six and a half. So your first flap is going to be five and a quarter by six and a half. Then your bottom flap. So you want to put it on. We need that half inch at the top. And then that blue around looks really nice. Love the navy blue. Four and a quarter by three and three fourths. You want two of those. Actually, three of those. But before we get everything put on, I just like to double check. You just never know. Looks great. All right, let's go ahead and put our cut aparts aside. We have some scoring to do. You know, I have a brand new bone folder. There we go. All right, our first one, which it's going to open on this outside uh, so we can turn it over, but we're going to score it half of it, an inch on the five and a quarter inch side. We'll just go this way. I always like to score over here. I know it's absolutely correct. Now, one of these, they will go this way. Okay. So on the three and three inch quarter side, three and three quarter, score it one half. This is why I like to have the cut aparts for this. Now these, remember, are going to go a different direction. Oh, they're still on the three and three quarters. 
Okay, so it looks like we are going to do all of them on three and three quarters. I will be doing my edges in sepia. And I actually want to go ahead and get those done now. I know that I also have a really nice summer, well, it's called Summer Vibes, a blue. You could use a blue with this. You could use a green, a brown. Anything you want for those edges. What a cute graphic to open your album to. Now for the back of our flaps, that's where we'll be matting with the spectrum. Go ahead and hold up all of our score lines. Grab your first sheet. Okay, the hinges. I always have where we mitered that at corner, it goes to the right. It's no big deal if it ends up not being there, but this one's going to sit at the bottom. So they're going to overlap like so. And I do, oops, this is going to open this way. I want to round my edges or, nope, I don't want to do it with that one. There we go. Actually going to use my large angle. I'm so happy we have these back in stock now. Kind of gives it that tag look. Time to empty it. So I will want to, but not yet. I'll need to do the corners on my cards and I'll have to re-ink it, but that's no problem. And I'm not worried about mitering the corners on my flaps because we will be able to hide those completely under our paper. Now, let's go ahead and somewhat do a layout again. Now, here's the thing with uh, these guys. So I'm going to have one down. It'll be actually on the top. So under, over. Um, our large magnet should hold all of these down very nice. Just one. And of course we don't want to mat the page. So I will be matting the main page with the green checks. That was the very first one on my collection pack. So let me turn this over because I do want to get them quite even. desk sloping down. These gra the, the graphics on these cut apart are just adorable. They're too cute to hide. So we have to showcase them on this album. Over and down. And it gives us a puzzle and once we mat it it will lay down even nicer and then for our main flap I'm just going to kind of use my grid so I know I have an 
about an inch and a quarter or so on each end. I just use my mat. And when I cut my mat for the back, we're going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. I like to have just the eighth of an inch border, so I will cut it at um, eight and three eighths long by five and seven eighths wide. And we want to put down a large magnet right in the middle here to hold everything down. And the basic gray magnets, I do have them in the store in stock all the time. It's nice to live by the owner. Okay, one thing I want to check. Yeah, it's going to go on top. So let's open our flaps. Pull down. And there we have it. Now I'm going to cut my first mat. I'm going to use my green. And I want to, or let's see, sometimes let's turn it over with the blue. Or the snowflake. You know, I hate to eat my words. This might be one of those times when um, I'm going to start at the bottom. I am. I'm going to turn this upside down. I'm going to start here with, oh, well, this is one. Oh, that's eight. I'm going to start with one. Sorry. So one. There we go. Here's my navy blue. I'm going to use the number one, the back, five and seven eighths by eight and three eighths. And cut your width first. And then also, I'll show you, you can decide if you want to double mat your cut aparts. And that gorgeous, that blue, I love those flowers. They're not really flowers, they're a winter like thistle or something. They're very pretty. So this is page, this is number one, the design. Also, Authentique doesn't name their papers, they would number them. So this is number one. Oh, did I get too close? No, I'm fine. Sorry, one of our designers just asked a question. Okay, for some reason, we get a little wet one. The glue made a little sticky. So if you're using the linen paper, you can do this with a wet one because it will dry. Um, I don't know if you're using a different paper. Always test it. And that's why I keep my dry wet wipes and my wet wet wipes just in case I have a little glue issue. And it's because I let it, there we go, sit too long. That doesn't happen very often. Make sure you've got good adhesion around your magnets. Wow, I'm quite messy with the glue tonight. Okay. Then we can re-burnish these. Um, let me just let her know. I'm filming. Okay. Burnish all those edges. Okay. So let's go ahead with our first one. 
the cat just came down to visit. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. She's letting me know she's here. I think when I do videos, she thinks I'm talking to her. Okay, now this is a little hard for me to see. I'm going to open this. There we go. So I have some contrast other than the blue. And I'm checking my sizing um, to see if I need to trim. And I do need to trim this just a hair so it'll fit nicer. I don't know if you can hear her in the background. She sounds like a child. And here she comes. She's a calico. She comes in during the winter. During the summer, we can't find her. She lives out in the garden, which is good. Keeps the bugs down and everything. But in the winter, she's got kind of a pain. She likes to be on everything. Can you hear? <laughs> I think that's really cute. Okay, now the back side. So on the back side, I'm going to grab my Spectrum and I'm going to use my antique lace. And right now, like I said, we started with two pieces, but we may end up using more. And I really like the antique lace. There's polka dots on one side, and I'm going to use the polka dots. I think it looks really cute. So let's go ahead, and we can get these all measured and cut. So for your big flap, looks like I'm going to cut four and five eighths. By six and three eighths. And then for our little ones, let's go ahead and cut a piece that's four and one eighth by three and one eighth, and you want three of those. you can use your your pattern paper if you like but I really like to use these on the inside especially if you just want it for pictures and one more an angle And then we'll ink the edges if you like. I'm not going to go crazy. I just want to keep it on that edge to get rid of the white core. Because of the lightness of the paper, you could journal on here. And you have sides to choose from. You can either go with the polka dot or you can go with the trellis. I call it a trellis look. I did, I, I've mentioned it in other videos and all my life. I bought the sprocket and I bought the Kodak that you just Bluetooth to your phone and print off your pictures. And so let me show you this. This is from the Bluetoothing it off of my phone onto my Kodak. And it does the beautiful four by six pictures. So I'll tell you what, it just sits on my desk and my sprocket does the little two by threes that will fit here. As for it for Christmas. You will want it. You just take the, your phone, uh, Bluetooth it, and print your pictures out that you choose. And you can edit them before you print them. And it, it's about 
we figured it up. It's, it's about 15 cents more than the store, but at 15 cents more, you have the convenience of printing what you want, editing them as you want, and it's really nice to be able to just print them off when you want. Okay. And go around that edge, lock that glue in. And then go ahead and use your, if you're using your, and I, that's going to break. I have a couple of others, so I need to get some more of these. I get them at Harbor Freight, and they're really great because you'll notice your paper will start laying down really nice and flat. Let's go ahead and just do the inside since we are inside here. And she just might jump up in the camera. We, like I said, you don't see her much in the summer when I film me. She's definitely outside all summer, but she's looking at me at the ground and she's getting ready to jump up here. Lock that glue in and then make sure it's all spread. See, and this is so much easier to work on your page. When I did the Penny's paper dolls, I thought I would go ahead and put the pages in and then mat them, and it was not fun. I will never do that again. It told me why I mat my pages before I put them on the hinge. And here she comes. By locking that glue in, that helps so you don't have it squishing all over the place. Also, if you use your art glitter glue, you're going to want to get it purchased because winter is coming. We put in an order, and I had a phone call yesterday because it's been getting down to 31 in Utah at night, and they wouldn't ship it to me till this Monday. So we're getting to where they're going to get pretty strict about shipping it to me because it freezes, and they are very strict about their glue not freezing. Okay. So I want to have... Have a warm and cozy winter on the bottom. I'll have that up here. And I will go ahead and angle. Now, if when you put this down and you, you have too much of a blue border, you can back it in the white ivory cardstock and it will look very nice. Yes, yeah, somebody wants attention. And she talks, so be prepared. <laughs> she thinks I'm talking to her. Well, me and that glue did might. usually this messy with the glue. There we go. There's your foot. <laughs> I would like to reburnish that. Oh, and squish my glue out again. Wow, okay, we've got to go easier on the glue.
And of course, somebody's upstairs scraping the floor. Just when I'm filming. <laughs> and Winter Vogue. All right, we're going to go easier on the edges. There we go. There she is. All right, you have to move, kitty. Okay, there is page number one. And we will come back and do if we want to do anything, but it's pretty cute, just like that. And then we've showcased those darling cut apart. So turn it over and let's do page the back of page number one. For the back of page one, we're going to start with the flap and the pocket. You want a piece that is eight and a quarter by five and seven, five and three-fourths, six and three-fourths by four and three-fourths. So we're going to start with our pocket. And we want to score it on three sides at half of an inch and half of an inch. And for your top flap, half of an inch. And we'll fold up all three sides. Um, let's go ahead and fold those all up and burnish those. Set that aside and our flap at the top, we're going to go ahead and burnish that. Now, for my pocket, oh, first before we do that, I'm going to lay my pocket on my page here. So I want to make sure it's going to fit perfectly side by side because when I go to put the glue on, I don't want to find out then it's not going to fit. Then I am going to use my little scallop punch. It's an older one from Martha Stewart. Um, I want to use this one. It's not too fancy, and yet it gives it a little um, different look than just straight. Okay. And also... Oh, no, we're not going to do the bottom spot because we got to hook our pocket to it. So with our pocket going straight across, not cutting into the where it intersects with the score, we're going to just cut those corners off. And then I like to get rid of this. And you have to go down a little bit deeper than normal when you... Um, do your decorative punch so that you don't have it showing. I'm going to just fold it up. Check our fit. Looks great. goes again checking our glue on the side for some reason I'm just heavy handed with the art glue tonight you really don't have to be it's now let me show you something I really like with these scrapers they come in a set and I like to take it down 
see I can get it right in that corner and really square it up something you cannot do with your bone folder and it's just really nice grab our page and then down that will go again it doesn't go the whole length of the page so I don't have to worry about mitering my corners and one reason I'm going to be staying away from doing things exactly the same length is I don't like my flaps to get hit on the edges you know how they get curled up and messed up so I will be doing them just a hair short on each edge about a quarter inch so that when you close your album and because this is going to that is that the gatefold that I patterned after my do si -Do album I just don't want it to get bent up and it just happens sometimes now this you don't really need a magnet if you don't want to because the heaviness of your pocket is what holds it down very nice but I'm going to do a magnet and I eventually am going to do another tutorial one day on the different closures but there are some good tutorials out there already if if you just google different closures for mini albums but I know sometimes they're hard to find so I will try to get to that All right, now you can do a couple of things. We can either use this is the back side. We can either now use this front side. But one thing I wanted, I'd like to make sure of is that page number two is going to pretty much match because I want them to look nice when I have page the back of page one and page two, which this one does. They all really look nice together. So does the green. So we're good. I'm going to stay with, um, this is number one that's on the front. And we're going to use, instead of the blue, we're going to use the hats. So I'm just going to move that guy over. Because you get three sheets of each design. We'll, we'll be using it later. Um, once again, our page is, I don't know what's going on with my new mouse. It likes to shut my screen off six by eight and a half so five and seven eighths by eight and three eighths remember to check your pattern your paper is pattern specific so cut your eight and seven eighths first then so we can blend in We can blend in with um, the front of page two. I think I will go ahead and um, use my trees here, and then I'll put my mittens down down here. So we need to cut a mat for the back. So we cut this at five and seven, five and three fourths. So I'll cut it at five and five eighths, and then I don't need to go all the way into the pocket, so five and a half. Five and three eighths, and I think I just need to cut. Wow, they're growing crazy upstairs. I'm not sure what they're doing on this wild Friday night up there. Okay, I'm going to check it. I wasn't sure if I needed to trim, and I do want to trim it just a little bit. Down to three and a half. Okay, I have to try 
and open up that bit good. Since we've got quite a bit going on again here, I think that I will go ahead with the Alpine Lace. Oh, not Alpine Lace. Sorry, Antique Lace. So five and five eighths. And this whole thing for the back side is going to measure seven and three quarters. So five and five eighths by seven and five eighths. Okay, let's go ahead and we can mat and ink all of our pages. Just I'm going to use that lattice looking side. my colors I love the green I love the blue just everything of course we don't need to do the bottom since it's going in the pocket if I'm not going really heavy I'm just getting those edges covered all right let's go ahead and mount our page So I found that kind of going in order, Authentique makes it easy where they're numbered, one, two, three, your papers. It just takes that, oh my gosh, what should I use next? What should go here? What should go there? Um, it just, it helps. A lot of times, you know, some design collections, it doesn't work, but most of them, it, it does for me. So just find what works for you. I'm going to grab my large one. So this is the scraper I got at Lowe's. Love it and no marks. Just double check my fit before it goes down. Yeah, I'm kind of messy tonight. This is going to be a fun album to showcase those winter pictures in. Okay. That's so pretty too. So it's easier to work with. Wait to start decorating. This is going to be fun. Okay, we have page one all finished. 
And I just, I go back a lot because I just want to make sure I did mat everything. And then we have our pocket with our flap. Time to clean that. So let's grab page two. Page two, you want four um, pieces of cardstock that are three and a half inches by four. And you need four of those. So we're going to put them in on the three and a half inch side, and we're going to score it one half on all four pieces for our flat. over and burnish them really well. Now, before we worry about doing our corners, let's find out. Yeah, that's my front. So, I'm going to lay it on its side so I can lay down our flaps. And I'm going to bring it down about Oh, it looks like it's going to be an eighth of an inch from the top and an eighth of an inch from the bottom. There and there. Now I'm going to go ahead with my decorative punch. Now, if you're not using a decorative punch, you may need to trim your your page on this edge it may hit its neighbor so go ahead if you need to trim it but this is a perfect size for a little two by three picture all right whoops There we go. Kind of split. And any border or edge die that you want to use will work. I just like punches. They're easy. I don't have to line anything up. Tape it down and put it through a machine. Go ahead and put these down. Now remember, one side has three pages, and the other side will have the other three. Of our book. So I'm going to put about an eighth of an inch from the top. of an inch from the bottom. I'm going to take it easy on that glue still. I don't know why I decided to be heavy handed. Much better when it's not oozing off the sides. Do 
cut very nice. With my crunch. Okay. Now, uh, I'm picking out my cut apart. I actually, oh, there he is. That's going to what? That's the one that's going to hold my little door shut. And this is three by four, so I'm going to cut a piece that's three and a half by four and a half of my dark blue cardstock. My noise strap. There we go. No, four and a quarter by three and a quarter. Now we need to have a magnet on here that's going to hold everything down. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this. So we need to just put one, excuse me, one down on the back of the cut apart. Well, no, let's go. We want this down, so it needs to go on the back here. Oh, that was wrong. Wait a minute, what am I doing wrong here? There we go. So I want the sticky side there. Oh, it's still not going to work. Okay. I'm going to cut this. I'm going to cover the back side of that with this piece. I'm going to cut it to three by four. There we go. We'll put the polka dots over that. Oh, it's wrong anyway. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's not, all right. We're going to have to. I'm going to have to remove the tape and retape it with my score tape so it's on the correct side. Or take the back of the magnet. We want this pretty much in the middle, so we it will hold our flaps closed. like so 
and then remember we used the mittens, the hats, and the trees, so that the trees are going to be really cute here, and the green plaid, which is definitely what I'm going to use on the inside. Now, when it comes to these little guys, though, I will come back. I The little flaps like this, I like to go come back after I'm done with my page, main big pieces, and we'll mat this with our smaller pieces. So let's cut our pages. 8 and 3 eighths by 6, 5 and 7 eighths. I don't need to. That's just fine. Now the inside here, I will more than likely just use our um, one of the light blue or the different color, maybe the, even the brown, the hot chocolate spectrum for the inside of the pages. Burnish these down now. They'll lay even flatter when we mat them. That's pretty cute. Okay, the back of page two. For the flap that will fold down with the pocket, you'll want to cut a piece of cardstock, and I cut mine eight and a quarter long by five and seven eighths so that gave us just a tiny border on the edge so five and seven eighths by eight and a quarter your pocket is six and seven eighths by five so we're going to start scoring our pocket oh and then the two tags so you need two tags that are two and three quarters by six Yes, two and three quarters by six. And we're going to start by scoring on the six and seven eighth side at one half. And we're going to do one half all the way around. And on the eight and a quarter inch side, we'll score at one half. There we go. Pull up our score line, and I'm going to go ahead and miter these so that they don't show under my paper because they're almost to the edge, but not quite, so they don't hit our hand at all. Fold up our score line, and we will double check our size. We want to make sure they that it fits side to side. Again, let's just cut straight across, but do not cut into that conjoining area where our where it makes the square, or you'll have a little bit of a hole on the bottom. Everything fits nice. Remember our whoops, our half inch score line. This is going to fold down this time. So 
time to clean the blue bottle. Okay. Now it's going to sit right down there on top of where that hinge score line is. And if you have your scraper, then you can go in and make sure those corners are open. And grab your page, and let's go ahead and attach this to the bottom. And I didn't really do, you know, crazy things out there because this is a when an album. I know it's during the holidays, but I wanted you to be able to to create and use any paper line because we want to get some gifts done for the holidays. And some of the albums do take a while. This one doesn't quite take as long. So I'm going to use my corner punch, which is what I just love about this, and then my crocodile. I'm going to just put, or you can use any punch. So I have a self-made tag. We will be matting these. And they're going to sit right inside. And again, it's heavy enough. You don't have to have a magnet. I am going to go ahead and get one on there. Well, maybe. I didn't cut these open so I wouldn't have to mess with them. There we go. <laughs> We're just grabbing everything tonight. upside down. Okay, let's go ahead and remove those. And now I'm going to move on to the ski resort. Now, on this one, I'm going to be using both sides. So I want to go ahead and there go. I'm going to map the inside with this and then I'll do the combination of both on the outside. So I'm going to cut my first piece at five and seven eighths by um, six and, or eight and three eighths. Make it just a hair shorter because of that flap. And my pocket, remember we cut these at six, uh, five and seven eighths. So go at uh, five and three fourths by four and three eighths. So again, five and three fourths, and I'll go about five. Yeah, we'll do the same, and then we'll be able to. Um, oh shoot. Pattern specific. <laughs> it's going that way, but we also have, yeah, we'll go back on this one 
That's pretty. We'll go back on this one and definitely use our scraps, but that's quite pretty. So that our tags are cut, so we'll put them inside of here. Oh, and then on the inside here, I'm going to use the crocodile green. So let's, if you want to use yours, I'll show you. I really like that this has kind of that check side. So it's going to go down um, on our flap, which is the five and three fourths, five and three fourths. by seven and a half. Or you can use also the lines. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll still stick with this one. Hard to go wrong because you can use the hot chocolate in here also. the sides. Got to kind of lock in that glue there. And I did notice I cut just a little short. So that is going to be a perfect, perfect place for some of our sticker sheet stuff. Or a little strip of the snowflakes. So. And wouldn't you know, just perfect because I cut it. Um, when I cut those off, so let me cut this to the five and three fours. And since it's just a hair short there, I don't know what I did, but that's going to really look nice. Belongs over there. Okay, the short one goes on the bottom. Let me just 
Yeah, double check our fit. really liking the green. Let me see if I have two pieces of this one. Or if we're going to have to wait four scraps. This is our pine tree, and I think yeah, we're going to have to come back on that one for scraps. But I want to make sure I use that, so I'm just going to stick that in there because I know um, we will be using the other one, and I definitely want the green on mine. Page two and page three. <laughs> Get some of these tools put away. Okay, we're starting on page three, and the belly band is three by nine and a half. So we want to score on the nine and a half side at one half of an inch. And then we're going to use our punch to give it that decorative corner look that matches our other areas we've used our angle punch in. Now, if you want, you don't need to, but we're going to put them under. You can angle those. And then this is going to go right there. And then I'm going to check Check everything. I'm having such a messy glue bottle tonight. And center the page. And down. Okay, now we will need, we need our magnet, and then you do need your cut apart, and you'll need, let's see, we're down now onto our sweater page. So that's going to be just a magnet. And find that other one. Just a sec. No, that is the right one that I used. Okay, so we need to have, I'm just going to use small magnet on this one. Now, I'm going to use a large. You may not want to. Wow, trying to remember what I did on that page. No, we do not have a magnet on that page. That's not the right cut apart. Sorry, I'm really not losing my mind here. <laughs> That's because I didn't cut it. Right, here we go. Okay, I knew I knew with some here, so we do not need magnets. Okay, our page. We need to cut this front piece at the five and seven eighths by eight and three eighths. You know how you just start kind of running out of room? Let's grab our ink.
Um, sorry, my, I have this new mouse, and it's just really pushing things off. It's really kind of odd what it's doing. It's a gaming mouse, so it is a better mouse, but it has some side buttons. You have to be careful. Okay. We're going to go ahead and add that, and then we'll go ahead and make our little flap on here. So I'll finish up here. We'll do this page three. Then we'll have our other three pages to do. That will go on the other side of our book. <laughs> and I know since we can pause the video and you don't know when I'm actually filming or not, I'm actually going to finish up these three pages and then it's actually bedtime because I'm just, <laughs> it is getting light and I can tell that I'm getting messy. And we'll come back to recording fresh tomorrow. Yeah, bring our bachelor bone folder inside there. And then you have plenty, plenty of these. So this is three inches. And this is where I have, have that little booklet. So you're going to want a piece that's six inches. I knew I had a cut. Mine is six inches by three and a half. And I'm going to score mine at three. So, yeah, I didn't even use that. I don't know why I was thinking I had. So this will open, but we want to mat. We want to mat um, our belly band first. So this, again, is where you can use scraps. You can um, use the spectrum. And our green looks really great. And I know we have that other half of a piece. Here we go. Cool. So I want to cut this with those stripes, two and seven eighths by eight and three eighths. Whoa. Oh, it's not too long. Sideways. You can see what I'm doing. Just our little booklet. So we want to put, <clears throat> actually, we're going to, I fussy cut that out. I left a little bit of the border. That's what it was. In my head, I mean, what I was thinking of doing. 
I never know half the time what I'm going to do. Once you start, when I start putting it together, I get a whole different concept of the look and bring it right to the edge. This just works so much nicer. Okay, grab my small magnet. Yeah, I'm getting tired, so it's getting to be time. And it's like one of those things I just don't want to quit creating. I want to put my little mittens I'm going to cut this now. We'll go ahead and mat. our cut apart this is just adorable this becomes our little tab and this piece is the two by no they are one and a half by two but oh I don't want to cut on that I just want to mat the back so it matches and I'm just going to put it down and cut it I'm using this as the tab. I'm going to use my big cutter. Just go around those edges. So everything is straight. Now see the back side when we open it will look nice. So you can either put this on see and then mat, or it can sit on top and be your tab, or we can you can put it actually down right here and just have the mittens. And that's what I'm going to do. So those top mittens will show. And oh, I forgot to do my corners. So it's not going to happen. So we will manually do it. There we go. So we know this is about three inches. And it should be the three and a half. So two and seven eighths. So three and three eighths. Oh, that was the piece I used. Won't quite work. There we go. I two and seven eighths. Oh, 
almost cut the wrong side. I'm not used to cutting it at that with two short sides. And then we'll come back with our scraps and map the inside. Okay, we're going to finish up the back of page three, which is going to be the three pages on the left-hand side. So for our flap, you do want a piece of cardstock that's six and a half by eight and a half. Now, I trimmed it just a hair short of eight and a half because I don't want it to hit on anything. And then we're going to score at one half of an inch. And I will be cutting my corners with my large angle. Now I'm going to also cut this side. Then I'm going to need to cut that off because of that angle. Those will be underneath the paper. And then we're going to grab our book. And we're going, we're, we need to make sure it's not hanging over the edge. And if for some reason it is, just go ahead and let's trim it. And I can recut my corners. I do, yeah, I just want it maybe an eighth of an inch shorter. Now, I took my postcard, and you're going to have to trim this down because this is six inches and the postcard is six inches. You need room to mat it with your um, the flap. So it's going to be six and a half by four and three fourths, roughly. We may be trimming it, and you're going to score at half of an inch. And I'm going to check my sizing. Yeah, see, it's probably a little just too long um, for the width. Actually, I'm going to wrap that around to the back. So I need to cut the length. my card just a hair. I'm just kind of making it fit and that's what I loved about this cut apart and it looks like I need to take off about an eighth of an inch to start with and then we'll see how that looks and if we like the look. There we go. Now I want to go ahead and do the same thing so it matches. And you can use any decorative corner punch that you like. Yeah, it's full. <laughs> Been using this one a lot. I really like it. side of my page and then I'll cover it. Okay. Let's go ahead and add our adhesive.
<laughs> tell you, this has not been my night for glue, as you can see, even when I'm using just a little bit. Okay. Now in here, we're going to use the large magnet here, and then on the other side. That's going to go there. That will go on the inside and then down. So it holds everything shut. And then our postcard. Time to re ink. So this is outline six. So seven and eight are our cut aparts, and there is one of the cut apart sheets that we probably will be using to so get three of them. Yeah, we will be. This is where I changed because I did not like that. So let me grab. And it's going to be your cut apart sheet. that has the large because we've already and we've got three of these so I'm going to be using this side that's where I changed so first I want to cut this piece now remember we did our pages at five and seven eight so I'm going to cut this just a hair shorter five and seven eighths because we cut that down and it's just a hair short of eight and three eighths so just back it up a little bit and, and cut that Open this. Okay. Well, yeah, you just need to trim it like sixteenth of an inch, barely short of the main page. hard with those dark colors.
<laughs> I'm getting the glue. Okay, so we um, we have the other half, and we're going to use that on the inside. So five and seven eighths by eight and three eighths. And then I am going to fill in over here. Let's go ahead and get our um, egg, uh, the robin's egg blue, and I'm going to cut it to fit this one, which was just a little short of what our regular page dimensions are. Four of those. Let's check our sizing. And then we can go ahead and ink our edges and put everything down. Yes, I guess I did. I just looked off for a second. Paper kind of is noisy. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna hide that flap there. It hides it beautifully. I know I didn't do my edges first. I think we're okay on this one. Does that make a beautiful background for your photos? to the inside. So let's go ahead and use our Robin Eggs Blue again. Again, we're short of six and short of, so four and a half by six, uh, short of six. To start blue that's over of our mittens. We should have, and we do. Okay, change. We're going to use the opposite. I love that that we used in the beginning. They look very nice together.
pay attention to your magnets, making sure. <coughs> so pretty, that blue. Okay. And there are our first three pages. Okay, let's get started on the first page of the right-hand side. So the first page, we're going to have the gatefold, and then we'll have the nice big mat with the large magnet to hold it down. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and move these. Um, you're going to want to cut two pieces of cardstock that are four and three quarters, and I cut mine at five and seven eighths, so we have that little bit of room. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and continue on with the, the angle. And sometimes with gate folds, you do have to readjust. I may have to cut that edge, but that's nothing we can't fix. So on the four and three quarter inch side, let's score it one half on both of those. We don't need to score on the other. I hope I didn't just now score that too hard. No, I think we're okay. With gate folds, sometimes we have to trim. Just how, you know, we set them down on our main page. And again, the 5 and 7 eighths is because we don't want it to touch the sides because it just never felt. It gets caught in that hinge, and I don't know why. So go ahead and lay down one of yours at the top and one at the bottom. And you should have, you should have room there. Grab my clothes pants. I always like to check things first because if it if you don't have a little bit of a gap there then you can trim because you do need a gap there or they just won't open correctly oh wrong bottom oh I didn't check this before I started filming and last night I did leave the pin out of my bottle And I think when I was filming last night, I was just tired. I should have stopped. Okay, let's go ahead and miter our edges. And I do have a heater running in the background today. It's pretty cold and rainy. We're actually supposed to get snow. It started down by Reno and is heading up towards Utah. So it's a perfect day to stay in and craft. And especially on a Alpine mini album with snow, the snow scene. <laughs> um, now, when you're putting this down, because we did cut it at five and seven eighths, you should just have that little bit of an, a gap on the edges. And you can bring it more towards the right side, which is your outer side, because there's nothing worse than when it hits on the hinge. And bands. I don't, I just don't like that. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to need a little bit of a wet one. Just get that glue off. Like I said, with our linen paper, you can do that. Try that a little bit before we glue. Burns that really well. Now the right side is our hinge side. So we want to line these up so they're perfect. Yeah, there's just that tiny gap there. And then my mat, 
and we're going to mat this front and back. It's seven inches by five inches. And you will want a large magnet. Let's see if I can get this right this time because we want one here and one there and then we're going to mat. I've been also painting and playing with snow and it's time to soak all the tools. Now once again this is going to go basically in the middle. And that will grab that magnet and hold it closed. And we can now mat. Okay, the next one I have in line is this one. And look. I love, love the plaid. So definitely the plaid is going to go on the front. And then we'll cut our piece for inside here. So 5 and 7 eighths by 8 and 3 eighths. My favorite piece. Just love. The green plaid on the back. So when we close this, our flaps now measure about four and a quarter, not quite, so you'll need to adjust. And they were five and seven eighths. So I'm going to cut this one down. Okay, so my mats end up to be about, they're like four and one sixteenth. They're not quite the four and an eighth. And the same with, they're not quite the five and seven eight or five and three fourths. They're a little shorter. So you have to just adjust for, you know, not quite cutting them. But, well, we cut it five and seven eighths, and I just backed it up an eighth of an inch. I have my large cutter has the sixteenth inch marks, so, and I hate to throw sixteenth inches out there because I know that can be just confusing. Now, the inside, we're going to take our hot chocolate. I'm going to introduce some brown in here because of these pine cones. Isn't that going to be, oh, carry on, use this side. And they need to be the same size as your mats for for the front. So like mine are four and one sixteen. There's those two guys. And then I'll go ahead, I'm gonna use hot chocolate for the back. And it oh, this is the seven inch five by seven. So I'll cut it four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. Now, as you can see as we're cutting along, now we're going to start getting all these little small pieces that are going to be super for going back and also for our waterfall that we'll be creating and for anything, you know, like that we'll be um, putting those on. Now I need to go ahead and angle all four. And I'm using the large side. side. Okay. All of our 
inking done. Can't get my hands warm. Today's kind of a lazy day, so it was a decision. Nap or craft? <laughs> so I took a short nap, came down to craft, and now I am ready to get warm. Okay, let's just go ahead and finish cut. Let's go ahead and finish inking our edge. Okay, let's get started on the first page of the right-hand side. So the first page, we're going to have the gatefold, and then we'll have the nice big mat with the large magnet to hold it down. So first thing I want to do is go ahead and move these. Um, you're going to want to cut two pieces of cardstock that are four and three quarters, and I cut mine at five and seven eighths, so we have that little bit of room. And then I'm going to go ahead and, and continue on with the, the angle. And sometimes with gatefolds, you do have to readjust. I may have to cut that edge, but that's nothing we can't fix. So on the four and three quarter inch side, let's score it one half on both of those. We don't need to score on the other. I hope I didn't just now score that too hard. No, I think we're okay. With gate folds, sometimes we have to trim. Just how, you know, we set them down on our main page. And again, the five and seven eighths is because we don't want it to touch the sides because it just never fails. It gets caught in that hinge and I don't know why. So go ahead and lay down one of yours at the top and one at the bottom. And you should have you should have room there. Grab my clothes pants. I always like to check things first because if it if you don't have a little bit of a gap there, then you can trim because you do need a gap there. Or they just won't open correctly. Oh, wrong bottom. Oh, I didn't check this before I started filming. And last night, I did leave the pin out of my bottle. And I think when I was filming last night, I was just tired. I should have stopped. Okay, let's go ahead and miter our edges. And I do have a heater running in the background today. It's pretty cold and rainy. We're actually supposed to get snow. It started down by Reno and is heading up towards Utah. So it's a perfect day to stay in and craft. And especially on a Alpine mini album with snow, the snow scene. <laughs> um, now when you're putting this down, because we did cut it at 5 and 7 eighths, you should just have that little bit of an a gap on the edges and you can bring it more towards the right side which is your outer side because there's nothing worse than when it hits on the hinge and bends I don't I just don't like that oh there we go I'm going to need a little bit of a wet one. Just get that glue off. Like I said, with our linen paper, you can do that. Just dry that off a little bit before we glue. Burns that really well.
now the right side is our hinge side. So we want to line these up so they're perfect. Yeah, there's just that tiny gap there and then my mat and we're going to mat this front and back is seven inches by five inches and you will want a large magnet Let's see if I can get this right this time because we want one here and one there and then we're going to match. I've been also painting and playing with snow and it's time to soak all the tools. Now once again this is going to go basically in the middle. And that will grab that magnet and hold it closed. And we can now mat. Okay, the next one I have in line is this one. And look. I love, love the plaid. So definitely the plaid is going to go on the front. And then we'll cut our piece for inside here. So 5 and 7 eighths by 8 and 3 eighths. My favorite piece. Just love. The green plaid on the back. So when we close this, our flaps now measure about four and a quarter, not quite, so you'll need to adjust. And they were five and seven eighths. So I'm going to cut this one down. Okay, so my mats end up to be about, they're like four and one sixteenth. They're not quite the four and an eighth. And the same with, they're not quite the five and seven eight or five and three fourths. They're a little shorter. So you have to just adjust for, you know, not quite cutting them. But, well, we cut it five and seven eighths, and I just backed it up an eighth of an inch. I have my large cutter has the sixteenth inch marks, so, and I hate to throw sixteenth inches out there because I know that can be just confusing. Now, the inside, we're going to take our hot chocolate. I'm going to introduce some brown in here because of these pine cones. Isn't that going to be, oh, carry on, use this side. And they need to be the same size as your mats for, for the front. So like mine are four and one sixteen. There's those two guys. And then I'll go ahead, I'm going to use hot chocolate for the back. And it, oh, this is the seven inch, five by seven. So I'll cut it four and seven eighths by six and seven eighths. Now, as you can see as we're cutting along, now we're going to start getting all these little small pieces that are going to be super for going back and also for our waterfall that we'll be creating and for anything, you know, like that will be um, 
putting those on. And now I need to go ahead and angle all four. And I'm using the large side. side. Okay, all of our inking done. Can't get my hands warm. Today's kind of a lazy day, so it was a decision. Nap or craft? <laughs> so I took a short nap, came down to craft, and now I am ready to get warm. Okay, let's just go ahead and finish cut. Let's go ahead and finish inking our edges.